Hi, my name is Molly Malloy and I'm a licensed clinical social worker from Butte, Montana. Research is very important to the social work practice for many reasons. We need to be informed in our practice in order to serve the people that we work with in the most ethical and evidence-based ways possible. We also really need to understand the barriers that people face on a day-to-day -day basis. The best way to do this is through research and data collection. When looking at the day-to-day -day data, one of the most important considerations from an ethical point of view is informed consent. Informed consent is about allowing those who are participating in data collection or research to know exactly what a clear description of the research and the process is. They also need to know how the data is going to be used. Finally, they really need to understand how their confidentiality and their privacy are going to be protected through this process. In a rural state like Montana, it can be difficult to fully represent our population because of confidentiality and privacy. In, Mon in our Montana data dashboard, for instance, women who are in their first trimester of pregnancy and are receiving prenatal care, you'll notice that in that same information, counties such as Petroleum or Golden Valley are actually not listed because there were less than 10 women to count. The purpose of this is to be ethical and respect an individual's right to privacy again. Um, at times, this can make interpreting the data difficult. Social workers ethically are bound to protect those we work with in research and in reporting. We must be able to assess the actual risk and perceived harm of the information that we're collecting and disseminating. For instance, if data is being collected on patients that are seeking medication-assisted treatment for an opiate use disorder, while simultaneously a report has been made to Family Services um, about potential drug abuse, in small counties, even the protection with the protection of HIPAA, it can be easy to identify who the patient is based simply on the fact that treatment is located on Main Street, Montana. This may in turn impact an investigation and outcomes for a child and a family. It's our responsibility to ensure that those we work with, the vulnerable, the oppressed, and living in poverty, are fully protected and fully understand how and why their information will be used. Thanks.